for this video, we're going to look at how to make a simple cup in Onshape. So I've already created my document entitled it Simple Cup. So let's talk about what we're going to do here. So I could make the cup or a glass by making a cylinder and then just hollowing out the center of the cylinder. So using a subtractive method. But for what we're going to do, we're going to look at a more additive method and we're going to look at how to make a side profile and revolve to make our shape. So to do this, since we're going from a side profile, I'm going to click to start a sketch and I'm going to sketch on the front plane. And let's go ahead and rotate the view cube so I can see what I'm doing a little better. So I'm going to move this down and what we're going to do is we're going to use our rectangle tool to make this profile. So I'm going to click once on the origin, and I'm going to come up here to the left and click again. Now it looks like I'm going to go here and I want to make this two inches across and a quarter inch thick for my rectangle. And what we're doing is we're drawing half of our, um, our glass, or our cup. So what's going to happen is our entire cup is going to be four inches across. But this is only the bottom piece. I still need to go up. So with my rectangle tool still selected, I'm going to click this corner here and we're going to come up and to the right. And let's go with a six inch height and a, again a quarter inch for our thickness. Now I've got a shape and there's just one problem with it. It's actually instead of one solid shape, it's two. It's a rectangle vertically and a rectangle horizontally. And I want this to be a solid shape before I continue. So I'm going to use my trim tool, the little scissors up here. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at this section where the two overlap. And we're going to click once, click twice to remove that little section from both the vertical and from the horizontal rectangles. And now we see that we have a single solid shape. So let's go ahead and finish our sketch. Now to revolve, I'm going to need to use the tool up here. It looks kind of like a capital letter C. And the first thing is I want to, it's going to automatically go to faces and sketch regions to revolve. What this means is I want to select what am I actually revolving. And I'm going to revolve this whole shape, which once it's highlighted, I'm going to click once. Now I need to pick my revolve axis. Now this is a very important step. Whatever point I pick is going to be the center of our shape. So if I pick this edge here, it revolves around to make this, which doesn't look like a cup at all. So I'm going to undo that step. And let's go to the point that is the center of our cup, which is going to be down here in this little edge along the bottom right. Once it's highlighted, I'm going to click once. Ah, there we go. Now, I have something that looks more like a cup, and if I rotate my view, yep, it's even hollow on the inside. So I'm going to go ahead and finish my sketch. But there's one kind of problem with this. Cups typically don't have sharp edges, and this is still a very, very kind of cornerish edge for a cup. So what we're going to do is we're going to use something known as the fillet tool. And the fillet tool is going to take an edge and round it out a little bit. So I'm going to select this edge and it's going to round all the way around this circle and kind of curve the edge like you see here. Now I can use my arrow to kind of adjust the size of that curve. But let's go ahead and just make a quarter inch. And we see that when we look at that, that, that seems like an appropriate edge for, for a cup. So we're going to go ahead and finish that fill. I want to do something similar up here. But this time I have two edges that I want to fill it. So if we come up here and, and turn on our fillet tool and I select the outside edge, notice that it curves inward to this point. Which means if I select the inside edge, uh, it flattens back out and we see from the red coloring here that that's not going to work. That overlap is too much for the shape. At least it's too much at two tenths of an inch. So let's knock it in half to point 0.1. 
and we see that now both edges are orange and we see the appropriate curves on both sides. So that seems to have worked, so let's go ahead and finish. And now let's take a look at our cup. From the side, I have a curve at the top and a curve at the bottom. And when I rotate around, I see the cup is hollow all the way through with what seems to be an appropriate curve on the inside edge. And that is how we make a cup in on shape using the revolve tool. Thank you for watching.